Hey guys, it is SSP Boy here, and uh, today we're gonna be doing a collection for my pipe cleaner figures. Now, I know a lot of you, some of you probably came here just to see the Willy's Wonderland characters. Well, you don't have to skip the throughout the video or anything. I'm actually gonna do these guys first, and then once, if you just came for them, then you could just leave once they're done. So, yeah, I'm gonna get with that, and then there's also gonna be some um, original characters, kinda. And then some Godzilla characters, and then a couple FNAF, and then a couple Transformers. Bit of a jumble of things, but hey, who cares? I like these things, and they're really f cool to make. So, let's just start off with the Willy's Wonderland clue with Willy himself. You all know him, you all seen him. He's just, I don't really need to explain. He's getting a little old, little pieces right there, but hey, it's okay if he gets old. He's supposed to look old. So here we have Siren Sarah, who not a huge fan of. The face looks weird. I might, re I might remake the head one day or something, because just, does that really look like her to you? And uh, we got Tito, who I'm going to need some uh, uh, repairs right here, it's like loose right here, and cover his beacon material. I don't know why I made it with pipe cleaner. And, uh, we have Gus, one of my favorite ones. He looks absolutely stunning. <laughs> Gorilla greetings. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay, that was weird. And then my favorite character, Ozzy, who is, is not supposed to be pink. He's supposed to be like a beige color. But hey, I love him either way. He's Ozzy. I, I, I just love him. I don't know why I love him. He's just cool. And we got Nighty Knight, who just looks like a Muppet, in my opinion. When I first saw him, I just said, yeah, he looks like a Muppet. Uh, now we have Cammy, who definitely looks like another one of my favorites. Or he is, she is one of my favorites, just because, like, look at that face. It looks just like her. I don't even know how I did that. And then we got Artie, who's going to get better teeth one day. I just don't like the teeth. I don't know why I made him out of pipe cleaner. Because, like, for me, the reason why I put... The pipe cleaners on Willy is because it like better resembles his fur. And then we got the the Willy I did for the tutorial. I'm actually gonna probably give this one away to someone, a lucky fan. Once I finish him, I I I'll, okay. I'll try my best to like finish this guy up, but it would just be a pointless video because it'll be really short. Cause all literally all he's missing are his nails, his hat, and his tail. That's literally all he's missing. Everything else should be fine. Uh, but yeah, I might give this Willy away to a lucky fan. Someone, if you're watching this video, then you could probably own this Willy one day. I might give him away, I don't know. Because it's just, it's just weird that I have two Willies. Alright, now let's move on to uh, my own character. This is Molton. If you've been watching my channel, he's basically the big bad. And he's just been terrorizing everyone right now. You'll see more of him in later videos. And then, we have a couple of Nights at Freddy's ones right here. This was supposed to be a Withered Chica, but then it just fell apart. And now I just made it into like a very demonic horror version of her. It doesn't look scary, but it, but what made it scary is that imagine if this was like... I, if this actually looked like it was an IRL I, I, in real life. Like, how would you feel if this thing was like in the flesh moving around? That that That's why, that's what made it seem scary to me. And then we got Sunrise, who has very short arms. And I don't even know if this is a girl or a boy, but everyone likes to depict it as a girl. And then we got Moondrop with really, really big hands. I'm think I'm going to remake these guys' arms one day. Just think they're kind of weird. All right, now let's move on to the biggest one so far. The, uh, well, the biggest collection of them. Uh, the Godzilla ones. So get them all over here so I don't have to keep going back and forth and uh, wait hang on hey, give me a second sorry there was, a, there was one of them that I forgot to get so I'm gonna let's start this off with Godzilla so if you haven't seen my TikTok I basically updated this guy and he's basically just covered in hot glue and now he looks more realistic he looks amazing I absolutely have, love how he looks now he looks really cool feels really cool 
And then we got Mechagodzilla, who's basically just my own design. Some of these guys are, like, my own design. I don't really, like... Because I like to be, like, original with them sometimes. Like, you can tell this is Mechagodzilla. It's basically, like, the original mixed with, like, the, the modern ones. So, yeah. I like him, too. Then we got Rodan, which is basically just a, uh, lazy attempt to make the, the, um, uh, 2019 version. And he's just missing a lot of details, but he's really big. Kind of big. He's, he's like, small-ish. And then we got, uh, we got, we got, King Ghidorah, who is a little too big, but my favorite part about him is, is his necks, I mean his faces, or yeah, his faces, or its faces, I don't know, I think it's just that it, so yeah, it looks really realistic in my opinion, I basically modeled it after the, uh, the 2019 version of King Ghidorah, I'm sure you can see him, he, he just looks really cool, I like him. And then, uh, we got everyone's favorite butterfly, Mothra. Hang on, give me a second. Sorry about that. My phone was about to die, so I had to chart, I had to plug it in. So we got Mothra here, who looks absolutely amazing. She's the only one who I haven't remade, because how can, how can it get any better than this? It's literally perfect, in my opinion. I, li I basically modeled her, modeled her after the uh, Heisai design. But giving her intimidating bug like eyeballs. So I should just sit up there so you guys can see her. Uh, then we got Kong, who I basically modeled after the current one and just any monkey I see because Kong's just a giant monkey. Nothing really special about him. Uh, and he, there's like a weird thing going down, down here. I tried to make it look hairy around his belly, but. It looks really weird. I might have to change that in the future, but hey, who cares? You can tell it's you can you can tell it's him. I'm pretty sure people can tell who he is. Then we got one of my favorite characters from Godzilla, Anguirus. I actually just made this guy today. Well, I remade him today, and I actually thought he was brown, but it turns out he's like a dark grayish color, as you can see. So yeah, his head looks really cool. I really like how it turned out. Looks kind of like a. What's that? It looks like an alligator of some form. If it didn't have this right here, I'm pretty sure he would look like an alligator. Actually, now that I say that out loud, I kind of want to make Biolante one day. But I don't know if it'll uh, ha ever happen. Okay, and then we got my favorite kaiju, Gigan, who looks basically just. It's literally just my own design. It has the same color design on the, on the body, but like this one just has like shoulder pads really long tail and just very detailed looking leg looks really cool i like this guy and uh i wanted to give him like extra spikes like right here but that would just be too far off and he actually has this movable tongue in there but i gave him this because i feel like i again looked a little weird without it so like if he did this like he wouldn't look as intimidating doing this would make him look a little more intimidating so yeah this is basically my own design on guy again and then we got Basically, it was Freddy at one point, but now it is Hedora. Uh, it's he's not brown, but I might repaint this one day to make it look like Hedora. So like, this used to be a Freddy because you can see the, the 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 lighter color right here, and this was Freddy's eyeball. There's like his hat's in here somewhere. So I might repaint this one day or cover it in material to make it look like Hedora because this is the, this I try to make it look like Hedora. But I just couldn't. Oh yeah, because Hedora is actually one of my favorite kaijus from Godzilla. And yeah, I don't know why he's my favorite. One of my favorites. He's just I just I just like him. And then we got Titanosaurus, another one of my own designs, and another one of my favorite ones. Again, I don't know why. I just can't hate him. Basically, just made him look like a serpent, snake, dinosaur-looking thing. And he looks really cool. I really like how he turned out. He's like a big old version. Of uh, of Titanosaurus, and then we got King Caesar, my third favorite Godzilla monster. I I just think his design is really intimidating. It's just really cool. 
And then, hang on. I think over here we got Zilla, who I basically just made because I like the design. And you guys already seen him in the last video with my PVZ plush collection, so yeah. Now let's move on to how the older ones of the characters looked. So this is the uh, old King Ghidorah. Really weird looking, like, come on. How is this supposed to look like him? That, that looks weird. I'm glad I remade him. Uh, we got the old Anguirus. Again, looks really weird. I, I, this is, it just looks really weird. Uh, and then we got the old Rodan, who doesn't look that bad, but at the same time, I wanted to look more realistic. So, yeah, that's that's that. We'll go over here, and then uh, uh, I could have sworn I had another Kong, but I had another Kong. He's like really hairy. Uh, oh, here he is. Uh, basically, um, this was the old Kong. I tried my best to make him look more realistic, but couldn't. And, uh, he just looks okay. Give him a booty. But I'm gonna, like, give him, like, feet. Because I still want this to be, like, Kong's dad or something. I don't know. So, yeah. We're going right there. And this was the old guy again. I actually just got done doing something with him. And then that's why his beak is all messed up. But, like, uh, basically, it's like, I'm calling it Ultra Guy Game, and I just wrapped it in a bunch of stuff that made it look more futuristic. Now, it looks really bad, but I might, like, eventually, like, cover it, make it look more intimidating. Because, like, I wanted it to be blue, because the original Guy Game was green, and then the newer one was blue, so, yeah. Alright, now let's move on to the last of the pipe cleaner figures. We got... Optimus Prime, who you guys already seen if you've been watching my channel recently. There's pipe cleaner underneath all the material, so yeah. I'm really surprised at how good this guy turned out. It took forever. Thought I wouldn't be able to make him well. But hey, he looks okay. I like him. And then we got one of my favorites, Bumblebee. Who, I don't know why I made it out of felt. I think it's just because it's the only yellow material I had on hand. But hey, I like Bumblebee. He turned out really cool. And uh, yeah. That's all I have to say about him. And uh, here we are. We actually have the entire characters. All my uh, pipe cleaner figures. A little bit of a colorful jumble. can hardly see anyone. It's just because like, the, I, it's just a lot of them. I try my best to show as much as I can. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, yeah, if you've been watching my videos, you may have noticed that the Zemic, well, actually, this is just an update I wanted to share with you guys. So, the Zemic actually just got an update today, or actually yesterday, I don't know when I did this specifically, but now there is actually room inside the thing, because it's actually foam in here now. I took out all the stuffing, and now there's foam in here. And then there's actually room in there. There's like a little thing in there. I don't know where the imp is right now. But if I had him right now, I would fit him in there. Because there's a lot more room in there now. So, he... I like this thing now. It's a lot more better. It, it blends in with the uh, pylon mech now. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I uh, hope you guys liked all my pipe cleaner figures. Along with the Willy's Wonderland and the Godzilla figures. Or the kaijus. Whatever. And then the Transformers. So yeah, I made a lot of these. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, goodbye.